Hello everyone, my name's Jasmine. Excuse the hair, I just woke up from a nap. But I just got off work, so I was very tired. I made some coffee. Um, I'm getting ready to go over to my parents for dinner. Gonna spend some time with them before we go off on our trip. So today we're going to be talking about Monstera. Specifically, I have a Monstera Deliciosa and I have a Monstera Adansoniae, which are probably the two most common species of the Monstera genus. So let's go ahead and get talking about it. All right, this is my Monstera Deliciosa. And these are some of the most recent leaves. They're a little smaller than the ones that I already had when I first got it. But I think that's just because it was grown probably in a greenhouse. So it had better conditions than I am able to provide here. I keep my Monstera adansonii in my little terrarium. I got it as a cutting from a girl I met online who I did a plant trade with. She traded me a couple cuttings of her Monstera and I traded a couple cuttings of another plant that I had. And when I first got it, it was substantially bigger than what it is now. I had some really hard, I had a really hard time getting it to root. So it ended up just being these four little leaves. But that's okay because it seems to be doing really well now. And hopefully soon it'll start putting out some new growth. So let's start with lighting. So Monstera are grown in the floor of the forest, which means that they get a quite a bit of light, but it's dappled wood light because the trees and everything above it are kind of filtering the light out a little bit. So they do well in really bright light, but they do not like bright direct light. So if you were keeping your Monstera outside on your porch or somewhere where it's getting a lot of bright direct light, You'd probably start noticing little brown dots on the leaves. That means that the leaves are getting sunburnt. So if you were to keep it outside, you would want to keep it in by a tree or somewhere that it's going to get a little bit less bright light. Now the good thing about keeping it indoors is that typically the light's going to be a little filtered anyway from your window. So you don't really have to worry about that too much indoors. As far as temperature goes, they do best in 65 to 85 degree weather. Uh, they can do good in a little bit above that or below that, but they do not tolerate the cold well, so don't leave them in a spot that's below 50 degrees. For my Monstera, I use an aeroid soil mix, so I incorporate a lot of orchid bark, pumice, perlite, a lot of stuff like that, just, just to promote well-draining soil. For humidity, they do best in 60 to 80% humidity, most people's homes aren't that humid, but that's okay. They tend to do fine and below that, they're just not going to grow quite as fast as they would if they were kept in a greenhouse that is extremely humid. Um, I use a humidifier. It's back there. It's not on right now, but when it is on, it keeps my humidity probably around 40 to 50 and my Monstera seems to be doing fine. I make sure to let my Monstera dry out almost 100% in between watering. Not like I would with a cactus. I wouldn't let it get quite that dry, but I definitely err on the side of caution with the watering because I don't want to overwater because similar to cacti, they are prone to root rot. The great thing about Monstera is that they tell you when they need water or when they're getting too much water. So Monstera leaves will start to kind of droop downwards if they are in need of water. I'll normally just wait for my Monstera leaves to droop just a little bit before I water them. And then once I give them a good throw of water, they perk right back up. Um, a sign that you're giving your plant a little too much water is yellowing or browning of the leaf. If you see any of that, you definitely want to check for root rot. So if you think that that's what it is, just make sure you check your soil and make sure that the roots look healthy. Another great thing about Monstera is that you can put them in a variety of different type of pots. I keep mine in terracotta, but people also put them in clay, plastic, ceramic. Really, you just have to adjust your watering with the type of pot you use. 
So I probably water my Monstera in terracotta a little more than someone would who has it in clay. I only fertilize my Monstera when it's growing. They do go dormant in the winter unless you have good growing conditions indoors. The last thing about Monstera is that you want to clean their leaves on a regular basis because their leaves are so big they can collect dust which can make it harder for the plant to photosynthesize. With mine, I will just get some neem oil or just some regular water and a rag and I'll just wipe down each of the leaves. Some people with bigger Monstera plants prefer to just take them into their shower and hose them off with their shower head. Really, you can do whichever you prefer. All right guys, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.